Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create tables thereafter I am going to show you how to insert the records and then delete the tables so and here uh, I am using local Adam and here I log in with SA now here after to create the tables here you can find create now here you can find the create or table so there are two type of table we can create first is or uh, toggle table and here after temporary table now here let's create the table now here after this is add your create new table now here after the next is give the meaningful table name so add here giving employee so employee is the table name now here after the next is so here all set it with employee now here after the next is id so int not null primary key so it's a by default it's written at here or primary key now here after let's give at this point id and here so next going to write name so name should be vacuum and here let's do some modification here id So add here at this point going to write id now here after the next is id name and here address now if you execute to this query so there our command completed successfully so there is a one table that created with the name employee now here after let's select and refresh so here you can find employee table that is created now here after the next thing is so if you uh, see add here selector thousand so there is uh, no any record inside there now here after so we can enter the record by two ways either you can use add here query or here you can directly use add here edit data now if you select add here edit data so here you can enter the data. So triple one here. The next name is going to write max and your uh, city salary. Now here after since so add here this ID is set with the primary key. So here after let's give max and here layer and here giving the city forward. So and here there is a one problem. So about the primary key we cannot enter duplicate. Here you can get the error masses. Now here after it should be unique and it should not be null. So and here now it accepted. Now here after let's write and here name. So and here giving the name is maxima. And here city. So like this we can add here insert the record now here after click on or uh, run so here the records inserted so if you want to check here right click here select top and so this records that inserted now here after the next thing is so I'm gonna create at next temporary table okay so creating temporary table add here so let's write again create here you can find the create time table okay so create time table now here the next is give the meaningful table name so add here giving add here as and here tempo okay let's give tempo now here I'm creating the table with the tempo so this should be stored in then db database and here after or drop and here this is select now here after so from which table okay, with the help of so add here you have to give the table name that you are creating with the help of so suppose if uh, I am creating the temporary table with uh, just like your uh, dpt so add here first we need to give the database name adam now here after the next is review and here after the next is give the table name so add here 
selecting the equity is my table name. So here you can use the where clause, so it's a optional. Now here if you execute to this query, so add here for record affected. Now the next is so let's find out is there any table it's created or not. So for this let's write add here select command select a star and here from and here there are uh, I just created one table with the tempo. Tempo. Now execute that. So at here, see, there is a one table that's created here with the name tempo. And here, this is all the records. So if you want to check at here, DPT, so DPT has this kind of record. The same record at here, it's, a, it's inside in or tempo table. So temporary table generally used when or uh, temporary purpose when the session is running temporary table that work but if a session uh, disconnected or you can do the logger temporary table automatically created now here again disconnect and here after of uh, connecting again So let's connect again. So add here local add up connecting with SA. Now here after give the password and here click on connect. Now here it's connected. So now here after let's test that. Now here give the server name local and here password and here yeah, login with SA connect so see at here this time I am getting the error message invalid object name tamper so that means temporary table that is generally used when the session is running then temporary table that work so suppose if user log out from or uh, Azure Data Studio then you cannot work on the temporary table now the next thing is, so this is the way add here create a temporary table. The next point is, I'm going to show you how to delete the table. So add here you can write the query, add here drop. So here you can find drop table. Now here after the next thing is, so if object ID, now here give the table name. So which table going to delete to employee that I just created and here employee. Now or uh, if uh, employee and here give at this point add her to one more thing. Let's remove that one. And here you can find drop and here table. So and here whatever you are going to do the mod modification so it affected all. So employee table that I'm going to delete now execute that. So see and here command completed successfully. So this is the beautiful feature of uh, uh, Azure Data Studio. So at here whatever you written at this point, so it, it directly affected to all. Now here you cannot find employee table. So this is the way we can uh, create a table, create temporary table. After that insert the record and next drop the table. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.